Oh, hell yeah. I just got isekai into a new world. Now my journey begins. Oh god, I'm dying. Reverse. Huh, that's weird. Maybe I can see the future. Or, or maybe it was. Now my journey begins. Oh god, I'm dying. Again. Reverse. Huh, that was weird. It must have all been a dream. Are you sure it wasn't? Now my journey begins. Oh god, I'm dying. Uh, again. Reverse. Oh my god, I come back when I die. Dr. Stone has nothing on this man's intelligence. Somebody get this man a Nobel Peace Prize. And who keeps playing that soundtrack? ReZero is an anime that follows the adventure of our boy Toyota. And he has the special ability to respawn at the most recent checkpoint. Which is pretty useful if you attack an NPC that could be important in the future. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. And the only way to respawn is by dying. Oh. And there it is. If you want to be isekai to another world that isn't ReZero, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to help my fragile ego. Warning, this does not improve your chances of being isekai. Please do not stand in front of a truck with high hopes. Now Mercedes, listen very carefully. Be sure not to save over a checkpoint that you might need. No Cadillac, don't push that button. Congratulations, you just pissed off the whole anime community. When I started this anime, I already knew that this anime was going to be nothing quite like any isekai that I've seen before. Why? Because it started off with such a dark tone? No, because he wasn't isekai by Chuck-kun. He literally just blinked. If I had to rank this isekai on a tier list, I would put it in the no Chuck-kun category. Anyways, our guy Ford got isekai to another world. And just like all of us, if we were isekai we would think that we would be some overpowered protagonist brought into the world to save it. And that's exactly what he believed leaves, but is quickly brought to the harsh reality of this world. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up. He treats this world almost like a video game when he first starts, which is ironic because of his respawn power. But then we get to watch this character get broken so many times, to the point that you truly feel bad for this character. The happy character that you see enter this world is not the same person by the end of season 2. And who would be? This is a character who had his mind broken more than once. The worst part is, is that he can't even tell anyone what he's going through, because every time he tries, this happens. And I already know that there's one edge lord in the comments thinking, if I were isekai here, I would be the greatest. And Dref wouldn't even bother me one bit. Wait, are we? Mom, are the chicken nuggies ready? The point is, most of you guys cried about a boat in One Piece and think that you can survive in this world. Hey, didn't you cry about the boat too? Shut up. I think that the best episode of this anime was when Subaru was experiencing his past. It showed why he was such a hyper and upbeat person for the first time. We actually got to see him be himself, and it was almost like watching a totally different character. He wasn't yelling to everyone victory, he was just a sad person who hated himself and didn't value his own life. And watching his backstory, if I could explain how I felt, I would say, Ekidana, take it away. <laughs> Most people don't like this character, but I mean, how do you expect someone to be after dying so many times and in the most brutal ways possible? Also, sometimes his behavior is pretty annoying, and if you dislike him for not loving Grimback, that's a valid argument. I mean, why does he even want Amelia? There's really not that much you know about her other than the fact that she's pretty. And most would say that this is the story of Tesla helping Amelia become the queen or whatever. But they would be wrong. This is the story of Jeep persevering regardless of how difficult things get and how weak he is and learning to value his own life. You also get to play an amazing game, which I call, is Audie gonna die in this life? Because he seems a little too happy, don't you think? Let's knock him down a few pegs. That's better. I mean, this poor guy is forced to go through things that nobody should ever experience, such as bullying. <laughs> Rest in peace, our fallen soldier. It's actually canon that these words were far more painful than any death. Now let's talk about these characters, and there's a lot of them. We of course get Honda, the boy, boy who lived, live. that has shockingly enough come, come to die. die, again and again and again. I was also thinking about what his theme song would be, and I landed on this one. But hey, at least he's a calm, calculated character who never loses his head. Yeah, that's not funny. And of course, he's accompanied by best girl, Cell Phone Chan. I mean, this is the real MVP of the anime. With infinite battery and the durability of a Nokia, nothing can stop this phone. It also has one of the most anxiety-inducing sounds in the anime. So to answer the question, who is best girl? This phone is. We get Emily Elizabeth and her big red dog. And I swear, if this woman saw a thief trying to rob a bank, she would probably be like, oh no, I must help them. <laughs> and I'm sorry, she has the same voice actress as Megumin. So every time she spoke, all I heard was, Except
but at least she has a nice smile. And Grimm honestly, I kind of- Jesus Christ, can you Rim fans shut up about Sleeping Beauty? I guess I'll talk about Rim, and it should be no surprise that if I say anything bad about her, the death threats that I'll receive will be endless. She's the emotional support dog of waifus. When you fall, she'll pick you back up. She also has the ability that all anime fans have, the ability to picture a full life with an anime character that they have no chance with whatsoever. Too bad that she'll never get with BMW because <laughs> she has short hair. And when it comes to best girl, I think that the answer is clear. The answer is, uh, um, I'm sorry, who was I talking about again? I'll do you one better. Who's Emma? I'll do you one better. Why is we get Ram, who is literally just a lap dog. And um, yeah, I really don't care about her. But this does leave the question: why is Ram less popular than her sister? Well, it's really simple. <laughs> the clown who gives my man Hisoka a run for his money. The best lolly of the show, I suppose. Wait, let me check her age. Please be over 100. Please be over 100. Please be over 100. Let's go! I suppose. We get Elsa, the woman who is the whole reason I take care of my bowels. I have been loading up on fruits, vegetables, and whole grain fibers in preparation for the day that she wants to build a snowman. My dommy mommy? Namero. <laughs> You're lucky that I wasn't in Nissan's position. Because if I was, I would be there so fast, she wouldn't even have time to kick me away. And after I was done, I would yell out, I did it because I like it. Hell, I love you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm itching to do it again. Krush, more like crush me with your thighs. The lolly handler and the joker. If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. I pass you every day and you don't notice me. Best girl of the show, Felix. That's a guy. Oh, good one, guys. Trying to pull one on old Lunar. <laughs> Right guys? Right? The Genshin Impact character, who may or may not be a child abductor. Budget Beetlejuice, best boy of the show, Autobot. I'm gonna talk about season two characters now, so tiny spoiler warning. We get Budget Mario Leona from Black Clover. Garfield, who is literally the only Ram simp in the world. The Seven Deadly Sins also make an appearance in this anime. Well, not those ones, o or those ones. That's more like it. We get my personal best girl of the show, Ekidina. But why is she the best girl of the show? I don't know. I guess in the words of Cleveland Brown. Oh, so nobody here thinks power is sexy. And you guys think that I would switch teams after what happened? No way. I'm team Ekidina for life. You guys are so busy arguing if Rem and Otto are best girl, but you forget the real best girl. And there. I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Okay, that was the last Family Guy reference. I'm serious. We get the witch that shows what happens when a tier 3 simp finally meets their favorite streamer in person. And I think that these are the only characters of note that I can make unfunny jokes about. Besides Sir Wilhelm Charles Xavier von Austria III, the absolute goat. I can't even bring myself to insult him. Time for genuine praise and final comments. I think that this anime was amazing creating what I would call a more realistic isekai experience. It also does a really good job at expressing the pain and mental turmoil that Subaru goes through each time he dies. This character really does make the whole anime, and provides so much to the anime, even though he's hated by most of the anime community. More realistically, he should have more breakdowns. And honestly, if I was the one in the anime, after my first death, I would have been like, Elizabeth is going to die. That sucks. I'm going in the opposite direction of her. And if you think about it, Subaru hasn't been in this world very long due to how many times that he's repeated this same few days. So while he's constantly changing, the other characters stay the same. And I think that the anime did that really well. I also really love the ominous soundtracks. And when I say love, I mean it gives me PTSD every time I hear it. There are also so many mysteries that surround this world that leave you curious about what the hell is going on. Too bad none of these questions get answered. The light novel that ReZero adapts is still being worked on, and the author says that it's only halfway over. It's also really unfortunate that for some reason, there's always a four year gap between each season. So if I do my math correctly, I'll see you guys in 2024. Oh hell yeah, I just got isekai into- Wait a minute, I already did this. Don't tell me. Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you wanna see my channel. Click over here if you wanna see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.